Okay, here we are, and we're going to finish up with inequalities. But in this case, we're only going to do inequality notation. The, the whole purpose of this video is going to be to uh, write the answers a little bit nicer so they look more official in the math world. So we have something like 3x minus 7 bigger than or equal to 17. In this, we solve it just like normally, 3x, add 7 to both sides, greater than or equal to 24, divide by 3, and we get x bigger than or equal to 8. This is a perfectly legitimate answer, the way it's written, and the graph looks a bit like this. There's a 0 there, there's an 8 there, and fill in the dot on 8, and up there, because it's equal to. Uh, there is something else to make this just a little bit more official looking, the, um, what I like to call unimportant garnish type stuff. Uh, they will put these braces around like this and then put this thing. Now officially, this is just really good math grammar. These braces mean the set of. And so this is properly written is the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 8. So they're including all of these numbers in here, and it's an entire set of numbers. And so you'll see these in the answers when you go to check your answer. You'll see that, and you'll be like, hey, what's going on? So we're just getting you used to that. Let's try one more over here. Negative 2x plus 5 is greater than 11. So we subtract 5. We have negative 2x greater than 6, divide by a negative 2, divide by a negative 2, don't forget that rule right there where you have a negative, you've got to switch that sign direction, and so we get x is less than negative 3. So again, the graph would look like this, there's 0, there's negative 3, just like normal, we would have an open circle saying negative 3 is not a solution, and then we'd color in everything there. But to make it look really nice, and what you will see on your exam and in your book, you will see these braces, the set of all x, such that, that's what that guy right there is, such that it meets these conditions. And so we just wanted to give you a heads up that you're going to see this new kind of notation in your um, in the answer key and on the exams. And really, you just need to pay attention to the important stuff, which is what you've done the whole time. Good.